Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Hazra and today we would be discussing the problem named as isomorphic string. So before we move forward let us first understand the definition of isomorphic string and in the problem statement would be just a one liner. Isomorphic string tells us that if there is a string known as a a b and there is all other string known as x x y basically this is the very first test case itself so if we map a with x and b with y okay then we can make this string convert to this okay or vice versa so we can convert s this is this is let's say s1 this is let's so so we can convert s1 to s2 by mapping each character to one character but there is one thing like a if we replace it with x it would become a it would become again a and b we have already replaced with y and this would become the vice versa of it okay so let's take the very next example so let's say we have s1 as a a b and s2 as x y and z itself so now if we map the value a to the value x then we see a new value that is a again needs to be mapped with something other than x because a is already mapped with x and now he needs to be mapped with something else so let's say we there is a classroom and if there we need to make dance partners out of that so every boy needs to be paired with one girl and one girl needs to be paired with one boy so now if let's say there are different students like let's say the very first one is me itself that is sadha then let's say abhinav then let's say nishant and let's say this is here as samriddhi let's say this is here as ankita and let's say this is here as nikita okay so if siddharth is paired with someone let's say ankita then he can't be paired with someone else if someone new is trying to pair up with siddharth then this is invalid so in the same manner a particular character can be mapped with a single character or itself but nothing else okay so you now if this is possible that after mapping if no characters are mapped to if every character need are mapped with one character only no character is mapped with two characters then we can say that the string is isomorphic okay so if you just see the definition if you write down the definition if you write it out then you can clearly see the solution that if at any stage like what the real thing we are trying to do so we can first try to start mapping it as of now a is not mapped with anything so we have mapped a with x okay now we again see something known as ay this time a is already mapped with x now it can't be mapped with someone else so we can say that th at this point only the condition of isomorphic is false and we are returning false at this position okay so at this point we can say that if at any point one needs to be mapped with something else then we are it is not possible so we would basically store the pair of both the strings like for this string for the current character a needs to be mapped with x let's say so let's understand this again so we would maintain two mappings okay one for s1 and one for s2 so let's say i have said that a needs to be mapped with x and x needs to be mapped with a here again a needs to be mapped with y so a is already mapped so we won't do anything we would say that this is not possible we would return a cross from this point only so if no mapping is there we would map it 
if mapping is there we would ignore it and after that we would check if the mapping of the first character is with the second character or not okay now let us do this in action so we are, we would just name it with s1 and this as s2 so now what is a clear solution that if the length is only different if the number of boys is not equal to the number of girls we can't map partners in dance so we would say if s1 dot size or let's have n1 is equals to s1 dot size comma n2 is equals to s2 dot size then we would say if n1 is not equal to n2 if the numbers are only unequal return 0 from this point after that we would have two map okay map of int comma character or character comma character and name it as m1 and again the same thing m1 comma m2 okay now we would start iterating for int i is equals to 0 i is or we can just have a for each loop for auto e dash s or no we need the indexes so for int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus so if at this point let's say this is a and this is x so at this point if a is not mapped with anything and x is not mapped with anything then only we would map so we would ask that if m1 of s1 dash i is equal to equal to 0 and m2 dash s2 dash i is equal to equal to 0 you can just have a not here instead of equal to equal to 0 then only we would update it so we would say m1 dash st s1 dash i is equals to s2 dash i we would map a with x and then we would go to the map second mapping m2 of s2 of i is equals to s1 of i it's done after all of this if m1 okay if m1 of s1 of i is not equal to s2 of i like if after this if a of 0 if this is not mapped to this if map of a is not equal to x then we would return 0 okay and and the vice versa of it the x to a and and m2 of s2 of i if that is not equal to s1 of i if the vice versa is not equal we would return 0 at any point after all of this if we are not able to find a violation we would say return a true like as of now we are not able to find a violation till the very end so we are returning true so for int i is equals to 0 so i have written here this now this should work for int i is equals to 0 this needs to be n1 yep or we can take either of the size yep so we just need to map out the values like a after mapping with x and x after mapping with a now after mapping all of this we need to evaluate if after all of this if we go to the index a is x really present or not if we go to the index x is a present or not if after this this we are checking for the violation here if either of the condition is failing we are saying that this is a violation and this is a false that's it so that's it from my side talking about the time complexity of the problem the time complexity of the problem is big o of n because we are iterating on the string exactly once and we are saving all the characters 
but the number of characters the mapping of characters as this is a lower case so it would be 26 so the space complexity is constant and the time complexity is big of n that's it from my side thank you everyone